I'm starting with the general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. And I am using the psychic tarot of the heart for the general energy read. So the first card is the sacral chakra and this is about focusing on acquiring things, uh, you know, looking for love really. That is what you're trying to do at this particular time. And you've got the throat chakra activated so there is a need for you to communicate very clearly about what you want out of a relationship. Um, and also making sure that uh, whoever you come against, make sure you're choosing your battles wisely. So if you're in a relationship, you know, just calm down a little bit, count to 10 before engaging in any kind of battle. Uh, or, you know, in general, you do need to defend yourself, stand up for what you believe in, and communicate these ideas very, very clearly with that uh, throat chakra. Now, in the past, you've got the Nine of Swords over here, so you, you're going through a period of anxiety. You're waiting for things to change over there. You can see the cycles of the moon. Uh, and this is the Darkest Fears card, so expecting the worst to happen, maybe um, being very pessimistic about what is going on. You're trying to rebuild things here, so maybe you've gone through some kind of big crisis in your life. Maybe everything fell apart, and you're trying to rebuild your life. You can see protecting your heart over there. Uh, you know, you really don't want to get involved in another relationship. And maybe this is the reason um, uh, why you're having a little bit of problems meeting somebody. Because you're, you know, you've gone hermit, as they say. And, you know, you don't want people to get too close to you. Now, going to the future, you've got um, the Seek, which is the Hermit card. Uh, so this is about being a lot by yourself. You have a lot of visions. You want a relationship to come in. You can see those two doves over there. You are asking the universe for it. But maybe you have withdrawn a lot, uh, you know, after going through that tower. Uh, and you are protecting yourself. So you have withdrawn a lot into yourself. And you're spending a lot more time by yourself. You have some kind of choice to make over here. So this is the Eight of Swords. This is generally feeling. It says helpless and hopeless, so feeling a bit pessimistic about everything, trying to make a decision about what to do next, whether you should actually even look at a new relationship or how to move forward. So you are a little stuck over there, and this is because of what had happened in the past, uh, and because you're so protective of yourself right now, maybe this is the reason why you're not moving forward. And you're very, very anxious about it. You are feeling really, really stuck in this particular situation. So the idea is to communicate more clearly with people and uh, try and open up. Uh, you cannot find, you won't find anybody if you sit by yourself in a corner there. Uh, you need to get out there and meet people. And that is very important. And this will make whatever decision you have uh, very, very easy uh, once you start communicating your ideas or communicating about yourself to other people. Let them see who you are and what you are about. Um, so don't sit there and, uh, you know, um, just plan about meeting people. You need to get out there and put yourself out there. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Botticelli Tarot for the main read. So bottom of the deck, you've got the king, uh, the knight of cups. So it looks like there is some kind of offer that is going to be coming in in the form of a maybe a social invitation or maybe somebody's really interested in you. So somebody presenting a cup for you there, uh, and you know they're coming in pretty quickly because they're the knight. You have the judgment card immediately below it. So you have let go of the past, or you're trying to let go of the past. You're trying to bury that um, what had happened to you in the past. You're at a crossroads in your life as well. And maybe make, trying to make a decision about whether or not to accept this offer that is coming in from this Knight of Cups. So um, it seems like you're trying to, to lay whatever had, you, had happened to you to rest. And you're trying to move on. Uh, and this offer is going to be coming in for you if it hasn't already, uh, in order for you to um, uh, make it, you know, you'll have to make a decision about whether or not you want to accept this particular relationship. It may be too soon after the previous relationship, uh, but it is something that's going to get you moving out of that, uh, you know, area of being stuck or being alone. You've got the Devil card over there and uh, the Seven of Pentacles. So it seems like this previous relationship that you were involved in was a very controlling, manipulative relationship. You could have been with an Earth sign person, uh, namely Capricorn, because that's the person that uh, this is the sign that rules the Devil. It seems, and there's a there's a Pentacles, a Seven of Pentacles as well. So it could have been an Earth sign person, but uh, possibly a Capricorn. 
um, and it looks like you know you put a lot of work into that particular relationship you can see her carrying all these heavy bundles of uh, you know twigs or, or sticks and it seems like a lot of work went into that relationship but there was no uh, you didn't get any rewards or whatever you expected to get out of that relationship did not um, materialize so you worked very very hard a lot of investments and you are feeling like you wasted your time in that particular relationship this person was very very controlling of you if this was not a Capricorn it could have been anybody but it, this person was extremely controlling of you um, they manipulated you uh, you know they they watched your every move uh, and even though you were doing a lot for that relationship they did not appreciate what you were doing now in the past you've got the king of cups um, and you've got temperance so it looks like there's been somebody that you've been going to for advice uh, somebody that's almost almost like a father figure they've been giving you some kind of it could have been medical advice um, you know in the form of counseling but this could also be a father figure somebody that you have been rely on quite a bit um, to uh, get over this particular situation you're trying to get balance back in your life again you can see her pouring this uh, uh, into you know pouring the water into this little cup here so you're trying to bring balance back in your life get yourself emotionally back on track at this particular moment and you are taking a lot of advice from people around you or people that are supporting you there with that temperance card now you're still thinking about the person uh, that you dealt with it could have been that you came out of a divorce because you got the knight of swords here uh, and maybe this person caused a lot of problems and a lot of chaos in your life uh, this was somebody that um, you know had a lot of harsh things to say and maybe they were with somebody that was you know you were always having conflict with this particular person with that knight of swords it could be also that you know like i said you could have come through a divorce and that person could have been a very it could have been a very difficult situation that you went through at the moment you've got the uh, going into the future you've got the queen of wands over here so you are trying to get back that control in your life um you know you are um, maybe working on projects at the moment and maybe uh you know trying not to focus too much um, on a uh, relationship at this particular moment. So uh, with this Knight of Wands, um, with this Queen of Wands, it's about being in control. Be, um, you know, a lot of people find you very, very attractive. Um, they are very drawn towards you with this Knight of um, this Queen of Wands energy. So you're coming across as that energy. Um, if this is not your energy, then there could be a fire sign in your um, arena at the moment, um, you know, that you're attracted to, uh, maybe very physically attracted to. So this could be a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that you may be attracted to. But f I, I think this is more like your energy. You're coming across as somebody being very independent and somebody who can uh, take control of the situation and somebody who's very intuitive as well. So what's happening with you? You've got the King of Pentacles. So you are working and focusing on your money and you're focusing on your work. It seems like that's where you're, you've got your attention and you're not really, you don't really want to pay that much of attention uh, to, um, you know, love relationships right now. So it seems like work is the focus for you. Uh, you've got the Knave of Wands over here. So you might be coming across as being uh, that Queen of Wands. But it looks like there's going to be some kind of relationship that's going to be presented to you. And it looks more like a sexual relationship because it's the knave of ones. You might be getting uh, invitations out. And this person might be really, really attracted to you at this particular time. Uh, and uh, they might be, uh, you know, asking you out. Um, and that it, it might start off, this relationship may start off on uh, with a very physical side to it first. So you might end up meeting this person at work as well because you're, you know, it seems like there are messages that come in with that knave of wands. It might be a foreign person as well because it's the wands card. So this person might be somebody foreign and you might meet them um, through your job, through your work. What you want is a change uh, to come in. You want the Wheel of Fortune to come in. So maybe you're, you're feeling a bit stuck in this particular situation and you're trying to get over it and you're hoping for some kind of change to come in. Now going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Two of Wands, the Strength card and the Moon. So the Two of Wands is about trying to make a decision and moving on. So, you know, leaving the past behind, reaching that fork in the road and just leaving everything behind and you've had that judgment card you're being called upon to make that decision to move on bury the past and move on and you know you've got an offer coming over here and I, like i said there's that invitation coming in over there with that knave of uh, wands so the knight of cups and the knave of wands indicates that there's definitely some kind of offer that's going to be coming in for you and you're going to have to make a decision about whether or not you want to accept it it's going to be something new and it might be somebody foreign as well
uh, because it's a once card of the end. The choice is about leaving the old behind and moving forward with this new relationship. So it's time for you to take that risk. Um, you know, you have to, have to act with confidence. Um, this is very, very important. Uh, and um, you know you've got to say what you want, what you mean. Uh, you've got to come across as being very dynamic as well. So this is the thing that's going to attract this particular person to you, uh, and make bold moves. The strength card always says, "Don't be shy. Uh, make bold moves." You've got the moon card over here, so don't be afraid. You know the moon is about um, acting out your worst fears and about being too scared to act. You can see this person's protecting their heart. Uh, you know, this uh, angel's protecting their heart there. So you need to let go of uh, the shyness and you need to come out of your shell and you need to have confidence as well with that strength card. And don't, exp you know, don't uh, uh, feel as though if you do this, it's going to all turn out for the worst. It's not. Um, this is the end of that old cycle about being alone, but you need to not be so afraid. So make bold moves and act with confidence. And don't worry, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. So if you don't take a chance, you'll never know what could have happened. So there's this new relationship that's going to be pre presenting itself to you. And it's time for you to now get out of your shell. Stop worrying about the past. Stop thinking about the past. And uh, start making some bold moves uh, in order for you to move forward. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And the first card is the sun. So things are going to work out. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So whatever this relationship is, it looks like it's going to grow from strength to strength. And it's going to be quite successful once it comes your way. You've got the Ace of Gabriel. And this is definitely uh, a gift of passion, opportunity, or inspiration. A chance to do something amazing. So with the Ace of Gabriel, which is the Ace of Wands, there's definitely a new relationship coming in for you there. And it looks like it, it's going to be... Um, uh, like a very passionate relationship, um, a very sexual relationship, uh, because you can see you've got that knave of wands. So somebody is definitely making an offer to you. They are de they are re they are definitely interested, and it's about time that you make uh, um, take that chance, make uh, the b the bold moves that uh, are required for you to accept this opportunity, to bring in this happiness, to bring in this change. And then you got the wheel coming in. So new beginnings, ends of delays, and a change of direction that offers happiness. So that's, you know, that's all you need to know, really. There's a definitely a new beginning coming in. There's an end of a delay there, and uh, a change of direction that offers uh, happiness. And you can see with the judgment card, it's asking you to make that change in your direction uh, in order for you to bring that happiness in. So don't be scared to take a chance. And don't be scared to accept this offer. It looks like it's going to be a really good offer because it brings the sun in. And you need to be positive. Don't be um, pessimistic about the whole thing. Uh, just know that it's going to work out. It's going to be something that's offering you uh, a lot of happiness and a new beginning and a big change, the change that you've been waiting for for a long time. So it's going to take you out of feeling alone and miserable and bring you out into the light because the sun always brings in light and happiness. Um, so um, I hope that this reading has resonated and uh, act with confidence and don't be scared to take a risk. That is the important message here. So uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Take care.